Hey guys, it's Chris from Longboard Forum with a uh, review on the Comet FSM. Uh, it is a beautiful day in Durham, North Carolina, and I am sitting on a lawnmower. Uh, yeah, so let's get right to it. Uh, I bought this board about a month ago and loved it. Uh, right off the back, I had a uh, Arbor and then an SPF board. Uh, SPF is like a local ski company in Durham, North Carolina. Check them out. Um, Website still being website is still being put up, but I will get you the link to that as soon as it is up, and I will uh, put, uh, get a review on the Kent, which is the board I have by them. So check it out. Um, yeah, this board is 40 inches long, uh, 10 inches wide, 0.75 concave, one inch rocker, um, sharp edges, hourglass shape. Yeah. Uh, this is a 2011 model. I think the wheelbase was 30 inches, and then uh, I emailed Comet, and they said that they uh, decreased the wheelbase by three millimeters on each side to make the board stronger, because that was what a main problem with the board was. But uh, this is the new graphic for the 2011 model. Uh, I like it a lot. Purple and gold. It's my school's colors. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pimp, pimp graphic. Uh, I have mine set up with Randall 42s. Uh, 180s and uh, Randall 42 grit degrees with uh, and 180 hangers and um, uh, Metro Motion wheels, the gray ADA. Uh, yeah, so this board is a great board. I got it for free riding, and that is what it does best. Um, it is really stiff, which is good because I can go fast on it and not have to worry about uh, getting speed walls. I've gotten like 35 on this, and it's held it fine. I don't know if I'd want to go any faster on it, um, but yeah, so it's held it perfect, and, uh, the concave isn't as intrusive as, like, the, uh, .75 concave on the, uh, Vendetta, which is deep toe, but I hate that, because it's kind of like your feet feel like they're being made into, like, little bananas or something like that, I don't know, but there's, like, it makes your feet super curved, I just don't like how locked in you feel. With this, you can get, like, your feet anywhere on the board, like, you can get your toes off, so you can get some good slide shove it, some good toe sets, stand up, or get your heels off and hold out stand up slides. But also, if you just if you kind of ride it, just like get your feet in the middle, this board locks you in. Um, it's got really beefy uh, nose and tails. They are awesome for nose handling. Uh, I don't know what makes the board so good uh, besides the fact that it has good nose and tails. Maybe the rocker helps even it out, but it is great for nose manuals. Uh, not too great for like big spins and stuff, just because the board is so big already. But uh, besides that, it's great for everything. Uh, dancing, the board's fine. Uh, it's wide, it's big. Got good platforms, so you can dance for a while if you want. But um, there's a lot of space to dance around on it. But I mean, if you want to get into serious dancing, you should probably get a dervish or something like a longboard Larry uh, dancer. But uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. I love this board. Um, it's great for everything I've cook it on. Uh, nose manualing, 180s, slide shove it, just free riding in general. It's awesome. That's what the board is made for, and that's what it does its best. That's what it shines. That's when you're free riding. But uh, besides that, it is great for downhill. I mean, not super fast downhill. I mean, just bombing like 35, not going like 50. But so if you want to get that, you should get like a. I don't know, DNC or something, but uh, like an Evo, I'm not sure, I don't really downhill board, but uh, yeah, this board is awesome, uh, drop through mounting, you can get flush mounting, which means that uh, it like sinks in instead of coming all the way through, and not instead of just being top mount, it like sinks in halfway, or something like that, so if you like top mounts, you can get that. Yeah, it's a really customizable board. Um, you can get different graphics on the bottom if you want. I think you can get like the new Comet FSM mini graphic on it if you want, and that's an awesome, awesome graphic. Um, yeah, this board might be my, this board is probably my favorite board. <coughs> the SPF comes close, but this board is just I like big boards rather than smaller boards. So um, yeah, but uh, mm. Yeah, so, awesome, awesome board. Uh, yeah, and also, uh, the big thing about this board that normally turns people off from buying it is the fact that, um, it's, like, it's known to be kind of flimsy, 
But uh, I haven't really had any problems with it yet. Uh, I don't have any like I don't have any pressure cracks, and I've gone off ramps on this. I've gone off like some big drops on it. It's not it had, nothing's happened. Uh, I've like scraped the nose up a lot, doing like nose manuals and like shots and stuff, and it's barely like even worn. Uh, the edges. One thing that you don't want to do is have it flip upside down a lot. Like this isn't a board to like 360, 360 flips on like you would a. Uh, Whatever it's called, original, I'm blanking on the name. Apex 37. Yeah, uh, you can do like 360s on that, but this is not a good board for that. This is more like a uh, free riding board rather than. Is that called freestyling? I'm not sure. But yeah, it's not good for like quick flips and like big spins and stuff like that. That's more like what I use my SVF for. But uh, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, Common has a great uh, warranty on the thing. It has like a one year warranty. They have good customer service, um, they answer fast. So they'll, they'll hook you up with a new board if this one breaks. But... I don't think it should because it's actually pretty durable. Uh, they have a new, uh, what's it called? They have some new manufacturing technique that helps them like make it stronger. It's like CVC or something. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, but so uh, if you have any questions, just post in the uh, post in the comment box thing below, and uh, I'll try and answer as fast as I can. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you the, what the flex is like, and then I'll show you some views of the board, different views of the board. Alright, thanks guys, subscribe, love the forum. There's no combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard. No song that I could sing, but I can try for your heart.